Yo, 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 right now it's DJ Shots representing music non-stop. You got another exclusive. People, let, let the people know who you are, B. Hello, I'm Michael Snaith from the Obedience Projects. Also uh, signed for the uh, record label International Slam on UK. Um, care of the Orchard Digital Download Service, over 600 networks. And also you can see my catalogue on um, Delhi Radio, um, Obedience Projects. Yeah. All right, so yeah, this is Michael. Yeah, he was part of a group back in the, what, 1980s, 1990s? Yeah, yeah, um, like, um, early 80s, late, um, late 80s to the um, early 94s. Yeah, early 94s. Yeah. Group called Galli Galliano? Galliano, that's the one, yeah. So yeah, uh, tell people a little bit about Galliano and the history of the Yeah, history. well, um, the history of Galliano, well, I performed with Galliano for seven years. Um, and also, um, you know, we've done stuff like um, performed to a hundred, well, a million people mm. in Montreal, Canada, Jazz Festival, very big festival. You know, you have the great artists like Wisdom Alice and many people, like every friend and many other different people mm. there. Um, you know, we've um, also um, headlined Glasson B twice and That's support cool. Paul Weller and Winston mm. Marcellis okay. there um, a couple of times also. Um, you know, we've been around the world, we've been on um, um, Jules Holland. Um, yeah, that's big, that's yeah, yeah. big to be in Jules Holland, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's where all the respected artists go that's there, right. man. Yeah, mm. Jules Holland, um, uh, What's That Noise, Dance Energy, yeah. Word, mm. London Weekend Television, you know, stuff like that. And also we support you too um, on their tour for a couple of nights in Bologna. Um, we support Peter Gabriel on his world tour in Australia, yeah. mm. stuff like that. So mm. yeah, that's um, some parts, you know, we've done Marvin Gaye tribute, so we met all the okay. like greats, Aspen and Simpson. I think it was his Chuck birthday, Carl. Marvin Gaye's birthday today or right, yesterday. Okay, okay. One of the days, cool. yeah. Nice, so yeah, we've done a lot of tributes like that. Yeah, that's good, man. Yeah, so um, what is your uh, musical influence and stuff like that? Do you know what? My musical influence, I mean, like I started dancing people in Jamaica. I was born in England but raised in Jamaica so mm. like, I used to go to the, the, my, my cousin's bar at the time and yeah. people used to ask me, dance, dance for me. So <laughs> I said, yeah. I have no money. They said, yeah. don't worry man, pick a tune. So I'd yeah. pick a song, yeah. dance for the people and then I'd dance and mm. at the end of the night it's like their eyes will hit the ceiling mm. and you know from the age of about four, like, I used to go to my great grandmother, mm. I had to read and um, that's how I knew that I had certain talent so mm. from then, yeah, so okay. jukebox days. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, um, okay, so like, what artists would you like to be working with in the future? Do you know what? Um, I'm not really sure, but, you know, um, I like working with up and coming artists. You know, I like um, Janelle Monet. you know, people like that. You know, you've got the, you know, the Niles Barkley or CeeLo Green, whatever you are. I mean, you know, you know, you got Phil Williams and all that, those type of people. But you know, there's also, you know, there's a lot of British artists like Tiny Temper and all these guys, and you know, British artists. I like to represent mm. and work with mm. British artists, but that's a global. Do you know what I mean? There's people that I know from uh, Switzerland, mm. stuff like that. You know what I mean? So whoever's got a vibe, and whoever's, you know, looking. To let me let me just chip in with a question there. Yeah. At the moment. Who would you say your favourite UK artist is, or the person that you say, yeah, this guy's oh. doing something different or good? Do you know what? Labyrinth, definitely. Okay, um, yeah. Yeah, I like um, what Rita Ora does. Mm. Yeah, she's very good. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, so stuff like that, do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. What about, have you heard of K-Coke? K-Coke? Yeah. Do you know what, the name, no, I think I've heard a couple of stuff from yeah. K-Coke, and he actually, yeah. he actually done a track with her. Yeah, Rita yeah, Ora, yeah. yeah. That was a really good track, yeah. in fact. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm up for working with as much people as I can, mm. really. Yeah. Mm. All right, so what, what do you expect to see from Mr. Michael this year? Well, at the moment, I'm, I'm actually um, going to be performing at the um, Market House in Brixton okay. on the 24th of May. Okay. Um, DJ Shards is one of my DJs, one of my okay. uh, DJs and a few other people yeah. as well, you know. Um, mm. So, like, like, basically, you know, I've got my album, Reality Strikes. Okay. And um, I'm launching really that, I'm launching that, and also mm -hmm. I've got, you know, my, my album that I released in 2006 called Grandma Say. Okay. That's electronic funky breaks. Okay. The EP electronic dance pop. You know, so it's all electronic, but mm. a certain type of mm. mood, flavour. Do you see what I mean? Would you say, like, coming from the 80s and 90s, that a lot of your style is influenced from what was going on around that time? 
Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I was influenced by, you know, reggae music. Mm. You know, I come from reggae music, mm. you know what I mean? So, you know, um, like, say, for example, mm. growing up, you sat out of the tip of our eye with the general state yeah, yeah. as a smiley culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. You know, I'm going to many different sound systems yeah, yeah. and stuff like mm. that. So, you know, that was that plays a part in my life, like yeah, reggae music. And you, you've got the Bob Marley, Dennis Brown, Abyssinians. Mm. Mm. And then you go, as it, as time moves on, you've got mm. the James Brown, yeah. Aretha Franklin. So, mm. all that, you know, like back in the day, we used to mm. go to places like the Wag Club mm. and, you know, different places, mm. you know, um, Limelight. Mm. Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, yeah. so like many different different places yeah. and yeah. different influences. You know. So yeah. The name um, for your album, Reality Strikes. Yeah. That's quite a powerful name. <laughs> yeah. Why did you choose that? You know what we're dealing with reality, man. Yeah, it's true, know, it's, man. Yeah, and it's when yeah. It, mm. You know, a lot of things are changing around us right mm. now, and I like to do deal with positive.